Continuing our look at uh, the religious landscape in Australia after the Second World War or post-1945. And in this video we're looking at denomination or denominational switching. And that can be defined as the transfer of followers from one Christian, make sure you get that right, in this context it is the transfer of followers from one Christian denomination to another. And um, uh, this is characterized uh, in the young. Most census data shows us that it's most mostly young people who change their denomination. And they, they talk about this idea of shopping around different religions, going to different churches and, and trialing them, trying them out. They're looking, we are told, for spiritual fulfilment, and they're not gaining that with the traditional, with their uh, traditional uh, church. And so they are looking around. Very popular in this idea of denomination switching or denominational switching is the Pentecostal movement. Uh, involved in the Pentecostal movement, uh, the evangelical and charismatic movements. You need definitions of both of those and be clear of those and also find examples of churches, uh, traditional churches, um, denominations and denominations that people are moving to. A Hillsong would be an example of a, a Pentecostal or an evangelical church that definitely attracts the younger people. Now, the interesting thing here is that um, uh, data tells us that uh, people leave after about two years from the Pentecostal movement. Uh, and we have this uh, set up, this um, syndrome called the revolving door syndrome, where people are going through into different religions, coming back, moving back. Um, and interestingly, uh, the Orthodox and the Catholics seem to be statistically more stable uh, than, the, than the other groups within the Christian church. So denomination switching, the transfer of followers from one Christian denomination to another.